Dubai is a city that you can't miss it. It's young. It's vibrant. It's energetic. It's cosmopolitan. Every day you wake up, it's sun, you can go to the beach. And there's some you know, beautiful, beautiful parks, incredible architecture. Locals in Dubai are some of the you know, warmest, friendliest people. All people are here. The population of Dubai are 2 million. More than 92% of these are foreigners. It's a dream city. Anything you can dream in Dubai, you can do it. زاروب هو بيعني الشارع الضيق الموجود بسوريا بلبنان بفلسطين وهو عبارة عن بكل شارع ضيق بيكون موجود فيه مطاعم فنحن اخترنا هذا المطعم لنفتح لنجمع كل هالمطاعم بنفس المكان أكثر شيء أنا بحب الشاورما موجودة عندنا فالشاورما اللحمة عبارة عن ساندويش ممكن تكون بخبز الصاج ممكن تكون بخبز اللبناني نحط قلبة دبس الرمان نحن هيدا شيء مميز عندنا مش كل المطاعم بتحط بقلب الصامش اللحمة دبس الرمان We were the first place in Dubai to really have a restaurant in the middle of the industrial area. Dubai is very well known for its five-star hotels and its shopping malls, uh, but not so well known for its food and dining scene in a more grungy sort of way. I change the menu every two or three weeks. Um, so that people can, you know, come here and try something new all the time. Dubai is one of my favourite places to eat. It's uh, always a great atmosphere. Everybody was doing fusions, but we never heard of an Arabian fusion. Our food is exquisite, our design is, is, is captivating. We deconstructed that falafel sandwich to form it into a salad. We took uh, the regular ch chickpeas in a falafel. There's a compressed cucumber with it. I would love Cubara to give an impression that the Arabian culture has much more to give than what is basically perceived by the world today. Mostly of places of Dubai are new and modern. So where is the uh, traditional Dubai? It is here. I used to eat with zafran, with baharat, like a mushkel, any one, some turat, but bukhur, all the things are there. If you want to see a traditional Eastern city, so you come to the spice market. SPM, it's a very dynamic, contemporary, vibrant art place. It all started with the private collection of Mr. Salsali. We do have a collection of all, over 800 artworks. Artists from Iran, European artists, some American artists. There is a very, very, very vibrant scene going on here and I would love people to know that Dubai became the art spot of the Middle East right now. Dubai taught us to be different. Burj Khalifa is the tallest tower on earth. From different angle, you can see the old Dubai, the new Dubai, and the new upcoming project in Dubai. If you go back 43 years, all Dubai was just a desert. Building the tallest tower, it's not only an achievement, it's a miracle. Everything in Dubai goes bigger and we're opening the biggest nightclub and the biggest restaurant and the biggest this and the biggest that. We wanted to kind of go against the current and we said, you know what, why don't we open something small? We were actually the first open rooftop lounge to open in Dubai. We, we did a whole new signature cocktail menu for this season. One of my absolute favorite of our signature cocktails is uh, one called Say Yes. Visually it's stunning, it comes with this ice ball which has a rose petal frozen into it. I've never met anyone who doesn't like it. 2013, we inaugurated the Music Hall of Dubai. The idea is to bring uh, culture to nightlife. On the stage uh, uh, of the Music Hall, you have more than 12 bands per night, each band performing only for 10 to 12 minutes. It's uh, unique uh, worldwide. In one night, flamenco, uh, Cuban music, jazz, rock, uh, oriental music. We are shifting from different worlds within two to three minutes. I like the people to feel that they travel in space and in time. 
Pasha is one of the largest nightlife brands in the world. We change our entertainment team every eight weeks or so, so we have everything from singers to dancing acts, uh, to jugglers, to aerial acrobats, that kind of stuff. Um, but we do have um, other aspects to us as well. We've got uh, a very popular roof terrace, which has great views. It's a great place to be. It's a very, very fun atmosphere, um, very vibrant, um, you know, full of people who are uh, generally um, happy and here for a good time. Dubai is a cultural hot pot really, there's just so much to do here, so much to see. You could spend a lifetime here and not get everything done. <laughs>